I don't need another flu shot. I had a flu shot last year. A swine flu epidemic may be coming. Swine flu shot? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It could make you very sick. Swine flu? Man, I'm too fast for that to catch me. You'll want to be protected. I'm the healthiest 55-year-old you've ever seen. Hey, I play golf every weekend. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. I'm a chemist. I love scientific method. I always have. And when I worked for the drug industry, science was completely abandoned. These drug companies that I, was, that I was interviewing with had no problem telling me, look, we design drugs based on treating symptoms. We don't cure. So that's a business model, okay, that allows you to give a drug to a person for life. They ran out of symptoms to treat. So what did they have to do? The next level of drug advertising is inventing disease. When you run out of symptoms, you don't have any more clientele to market to. So you have to invent disease. I wondered, as a chemist, I'm making these drugs. They're proving deadly in our labs, and they're proving deadly in other labs. Dangerous, ineffective, causing the exact same thing they're supposed to treat. How are they selling them? How are they selling them? And they have the marketing department. Big Pharma has the best marketing department in the world. Geniuses. You simply pay professionals, doctors, professors, psychiatrists, to report that the study showed positive results. You're paying them. You're buying science. Checkbook science. At least 125,000 people dying every year from prescription drugs, you would think that you'd spend more in research to try to offset the death toll. No. Keep going with marketing. Market, market, market. Hypnotize the masses. Hypnotize them and drug them. You have a billion dollar industry making a lot of people sick and profiting on it. Don't take the drug. That puts the patient in the position of power.